There's only one learning objective for TR-28. Be able to solve triangles using the law of sines. This triangle has an angle side opposite pair. Remember, when you see a nail, use a hammer, and when you see an angle side opposite pair, use the law of sines. So, when using the law of sines on this triangle, which unknown variable will be identified first? Angle A, side A, or angle C? We solve for the variable opposite the other known, in this case, angle C. So now, solve for angle C. When using the law of sines, it's often most convenient to put the variable we want to solve in the numerator of the first fraction. So sine C over 31.9. Then we equate that to our given angle side opposite pair. Make sure you don't flip the second fraction. Sine on top in both, or sine on bottom in both. Sine C equals 0 0.3269, so C equals arc sine 0 0.3269, or 19.1 degrees. There's only two variables left, so solve the triangle. We know two angles, so we can find angle A since it equals 180 degrees minus 27.0 degrees minus 19.1 degrees, so 133.9 degrees. One variable left. Use the law of sines to find side A. Again, it's a good habit to put your unknown variable in the numerator of the left fraction. A over sine 133.9 degrees equals 44.3 over sine 27.0 degrees. So side A equals 70.3, we aren't told the units of measure. And we've solved the triangle. Here are three more triangles to solve on your own. Pause and solve them, then I'll go through them one by one, showing the strategy, but not the math details, which you should be able to work out on your own. In the leftmost triangle, we're given a side and two angles in radians. Sides have lowercase labels and angles have uppercase. On the triangle, the angles aren't labeled, but we know each angle has the uppercase label of the side across from it. So here's what we're given. Start by finding this angle. Remember, it's in radians. Then use the law of sines. Pause if you like, and I'll show the answers. For the middle triangle, we're given three angles. What did we say about this scenario? This is a special case where we can't solve the triangle. This triangle could be absolutely any size. Without knowing at least one side, we can never solve a triangle. There's no unique solution. In the rightmost triangle, we know a side angle opposite pair. Pause and try this one on your own. If you need a hint, find the unknown measures in this order. Side E then angle D, then side D. Here are the answers. It's easy to make up your own triangles to solve. You can check your work with an online triangle solver like this one. Practice to build your confidence.